What's up, YouTube? All right, so check it out. In this video, we're going to get into what I'm coining as macro for dummies <laughs> with your Pentax camera. Um, you know that whole series of books, uh, you know, Windows for Dummies and Microsoft Word for Dummies, the whole dummy series of books. Well, this is going to be the first one for Pentax cameras. So what what is the absolute best setup that you can possibly do for shooting macro with your Pentax camera? Well, personally, I think the best thing that you can actually do is get a manual focus lens. That seems to be the default uh, for incredible macro photography. Um, is to use a, uh, use a, well obviously use a macro lens. Um, other than that, manual focus lens so you can fine tune all your adjustments. Now, thankfully, Pentax cameras are incredibly customizable. You can customize every single button, dial, settings, save it as a user setting, which is exactly what you need to do. You need to go into the menu and actually save the user mode as your own thing. Now I've already gone ahead and done that um, but I will still go through the menu. So basically, uh, so say here I'm in oh say I'm in aperture value, right? Aperture priority. Now I go into the menu and I want to do button customization. Now the thing is the button customization it, it's not globally going to be applied across the whole camera it's only going to be tied to that user mode that you save. So you can enable catch and focus, uh, which you should do for macro because it makes it brilliantly easy. You can have back button focus enabled for the rest of your user modes and disable back button focus so you can use catch and focus only for this one user mode. It's that brilliant. So what you want to do is go in, enable AF1 so that the you can either enable AF1 on the K30, K50, uh, or you can just have it as the exposure lock uh, for the back button here, because it uh, uses both the exposure lock button and the autofocus button. So it's up to you. If you do use the auto exposure lock, then just leave it as AE lock. If you don't really use the auto exposure lock function, then you can leave it on enable AF1. So with that said, um, after that, what you want to do is make sure that your catch in focus is actually enabled. If it's set on green, then catch in focus is actually disabled. So you want to actually turn it on. And after all that is all said and done, then what you want to do is go all the way back through the menu and go into save your user mode, right? Oh, and another thing too is you want to make sure that your autofocus settings are. Do, 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 do. That's for AFA. Okay. Don't think this one actually. I don't think the K30. No, it doesn't. Okay. So the K30 actually does not have uh, the same features as the K3 in regards to. Uh, the depth of autofocus adjustments um, that you can actually save. So what you want to do here is go into save user mode, save settings, yes. As I said, I already named, I already created one for macro. So we're going to save it here, yes, save. And if you have not saved the, have you, if you, if you have yet to have saved an actual user mode, you'll just have user one and user two. So what you want to do is, uh, I'll just do this one here, uh, is rename the user mode and then you can just type in whatever it is that you want and look at the instructions down here for deleting one character. You use the D-pad here to move over. You press OK in order to select a character and that's pretty much it. And then when you're done, you just hit save, OK, and then it'll be renamed and you want to check your saved settings so let's take a look okay so it's in jpeg auto white balance aperture value macro and now you see here it's aperture value right now and it's in high speed okay everything else is all whatever okay now what i'm going to do is actually change the mode 
So I don't want to have aperture value, I want to have manual. So now if I go in here and I save the user mode, save settings to macro, yes. Now I want to check my settings. I want to check macro. Boom. Now it's full manual. So it applies only to the one user setting. Now let's uh, see how this actually plays out in real life. Okay, so I'm going to take a shot. There we go. And now I'm going to do it again, except this time I'm going to not move the lens whatsoever. I'm not going to touch the lens. And there you go. It's literally that simple. So simple, in fact. It's taking a picture of that battery there. You will see I am not touching anything. Now, here we go. And that's it. It's that simple. So, there you go. How to actually do macro in the most simplistic way by using the customization power of the Pentax camera. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to come out with some more content. And uh, if you have any ideas you'd like me to go over, any questions, anything, let me know in the comments below. And y'all going to see me on my next video. I'm out.